Hi guys, my name is Michael and this is channel not just for the PS Vita fans, welcome! PS Vita scene never sleeps, but I do sleep, usually every day, therefore it's hard for me to keep up with all the new ports and homebrews getting released. So in today's video I'm trying to keep up with the scene and I'm bringing you all the latest releases as well as recently updated VPKs and some bits and bobs sprinkled in between. So without any further ado, let's dive right into the video. First exciting port that came out yesterday is called Granny. It was ported thanks to Freedev, Fredev, and it is a first person survival horror kind of game made in Unity. It is also available for iOS, Android and PC. Granny keeps you locked in her house and the goal is to try to get out of her house, but be careful and quiet as she hears every little nuance in the environment. If you drop something on the floor, she hears it and comes running and smashing you with a stick into unconsciousness. You can hide in wardrobes or under beds and you have 5 days to make it out or you are as good as that. The game runs pretty good, uh, there are some slowdowns, that's to be expected with version 1.0. The controls are responsive. I'm not really into this kind of survival horrors as I always want to defend myself but usually I cannot. Therefore I'm getting frustrated and I can't really progress further into the game. And usually it ends up with me abandoning the game. But if you are a fan of the genre, I would recommend to at least check it out. It's about 450 megabytes in size and you can download it for free from VitaDB or anywhere else. Following port that has been brought over are actually two games, Sonic 1 and 2 SMS remakes, ported by M-K and Creative Araya. Huge thanks to them for the hard work. The remakes uh, represent uh, redesigned versions of the Master System classics from 1990s. This is an unofficial port based on the PC remake of the Sonic SMS. As you may know, there are already ports of both Sonic games available based on the full decompilation of the OG games. However, these newly released versions are substantially enhanced, many features were added that are not present in the OG versions. You can play with a bunch of settings, there are new game modes, 5 team characters, new zones, new features, new improvements. It's all in there and if you crave for more detailed list of all the improvements you can find it in the link down below. Alongside its release page so feel free to have a look. Personally I've never been a huge fan of Sonic as I never really had any memories with it from back in the day. So I couldn't really feel any nostalgia playing it. And when I've been trying to get into it now it just wasn't possible as the concept and the mechanics of the game didn't really appeal to me at all. However, if you are a Sonic fan and you want to try something new today, definitely go and give it a shot as I'm sure it would appeal to you. The games can be downloaded for free from same old places and each is around 40 megabytes in size. Why not to give a redesigned Sonic a go? Upcoming port is called Cook, Surf and Delicious, ported by same developer M-K and it is a hardcore restaurant simulator. 
one of the few in its genre that gives the player total control over where they want to take their restaurant. Rest restaurant? I'm not a hardcore fan of restaurant simulators, thus I didn't really find any joy in playing it. I prefer to cook and serve the meals in the comfort of my own kitchen and just then I can enjoy the delicious meals properly that are served right under my nose. That's the way I like it, but if you are a fan of this business cooking simulator, surely don't miss it. It is about 120 megabytes in size. Now let's move on to the updates. First one is regarding the Axioms x Tech, which is a port of old Super Mario Bros. X engine. It's been updated to the version 1.3.6. Classical lever editor has been added. Resolution other than 800 by 600 now supported. Improved performance, bug fixes, among many other changes. For the full changelog, please check the link down below. Second unofficial update I want to cover is for Streets of Rage Remake version 1.2. There has been new bubble, background and title picture added because it's missing in the original version. And the biggest update is in my opinion the white screen support of 16x9 ratio, therefore it will now fill up the whole PS Vita screen. There is one minor downside though, as in order for D-pad to work, you'll need RE Vita plugin that works only with 3.60 or 65 Henkaku Enzo. So it is not best of both worlds yet, but I'm sure Isage, uh, the developer of this port, is working hard to improve it. And I'm looking forward for any new enhancements and be sure I will let you know as soon as they will pop up. Last update I just want to quickly mention is for F Heroes 2, the PS Vita port of Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Many many new upgrades, again you can find the link for the full changelog down below. Last but certainly not least, we will also received a new piece of exciting software called Better Homebrew Browser, developed by M. Ibrahim. The biggest feature that the older Vita Homebrew browser cannot perform is the background downloading. That means you can continue to download even if you minimize the Homebrew browser. However, the background downloads will be terminated without warning when you open an enlarged memory mode game. <laughs> there is no way to avoid this, uh, but it is not an issue in most cases. It is still an open beta, so don't be surprised if it crashes. It also looks, sounds and feels almost exactly like the official PS Store app. It can also download from both CBPS database and VitaDB, which you cannot do on the Vita Homebrew browser. Overall, uh, this app has great potential and it is very neat. I'm really into it and I can't wait for more polished version with upcoming updates. Great work guys, keep it up! Special bonus points awarded for the background music thumbs up. And what about you guys? Are you gonna get any of these new ports or updates? Let me know your thoughts down below. We are coming to the part of the video where I tell you if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and share it with other PS Vita enthusiasts. It means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out our Discord server and follow me on social media. You can now also support the channel. All the links are down below. 
Sub to the channel means you most likely won't miss upcoming content. There is roughly one video coming out every week. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Production.